welcome to the series of curiosity in the channel of dushi classes friends curiosity doesn't kill the cat but makes you stronger we all are naturally curious and that is the reason we keep on asking questions in our day to day life we see many interesting natural phenomena which may lead us to ask many questions that may sometimes sound very foolish some people may laugh at us considering this question as simple and silly however once they are considered those same smile slowly inches away and people realize the question is more interesting than it seems well have you ever wondered an average cute looking fluffy cloud consists tons of liquid water it's up there a couple of kilometers above our head innocently peeping at us apparently defying the law of gravity surely the cloud should fall but why don't they take few moment and think clouds are made up of water water is denser than air air water does not float in air sometimes the clouds are made up of frozen crystals which are heavier than air so why don't they fall this seems to be quite an idiotic question but actually it is not well before diving into the answer please do like and hit the subscribe red button given below the video and press the bell icon to get the notifications of our new video and do watch the video till the end now let's get rolling right from the giant puff covering the sun to the thin whips passing by the moon clouds come into the countless shapes and sizes they are the wonderful fodder for imaginations at some point of time the cloud may look like a horse sometimes a fish sometimes a heart sometimes a fire breathing dragon a part of the creative imaginations the cloud serve the important purpose right from predicting the weather to facilitating the life on the earth by giving the rain and snow at night the cloud reflect the heat and keeps the ground warmer during the day the cloud makes the shade and that keeps our earth cooler the first question that comes in our mind is what is the recipe of the cloud how are the clouds formed well the sun slowly evaporates the water on the earth surface and turns it into the gas it is called as water vapor as the water vapor is lighter than air it rises high in the sky at the high altitude the air is cooler the cooler air causes the water droplets to start to stick to the things like bits of dust dirt or sea salt this dust dirt or the sea salts are the building blocks of the cloud they are also called as cloud condensation nuclei this nuclei are everywhere in the atmosphere they attract water vapor as they rises from the liquid water to the ice this result in the formation of tiny globules called droplets this is the way the clouds are formed hmm this explains why the clouds exist but our question is still unanswered that is even though the clouds are filled with the water which are heavier than air why don't they fall how do the clouds float in the sky now let's zoom into the answer well there must be some mechanism acting upon those clouds which prevents the cloud from falling okay now let's assume firstly the droplets of the clouds are very small very very small an average water droplet of the of the cloud may be 20 micro meters across that is half as wide as your typical human hair or as wide as a particle of the dust a dust particle is so small that it can float in the air for the long time moreover the droplets are very much spaced out that means there is lot of space among the water droplets so the liquid water in a liter of the cloud may be pretty small 
if there was no air in the way the gravity uh, would have made the crowd droplet fall the air slows down the speed of an object falling through it that is the air put some resistance this is technically known as an aerodynamic drag and it depends upon the object's mass size and shape well this resistance of the air become more important when the objects are smaller when the object falls through the air the aerodynamic drag force counters the force of the gravity the most important of this is that the clouds are continuously pushed upwards by the rising air current this upward push of the air or the current of the air is greater than the rate at which the gravity pulls it downwards the net result is that the cloud droplets are rising within the or because of the upward drift so when the typical cloud do contain a lot of water this water is spread out over the miles in the form of tiny water droplets or the crystals which are so small that the effect of the gravity on them is quite negligible thus from our vintage on the ground the sky seems to the clouds seems to float in the sky clouds don't float forever if the surrounding air warms up the moisture retaining capacity of the air increases and the cloud would disappear sometimes the air cools and there is more condensation as a result the water dro droplets start sticking to one another and they become large and heavy and then they fall what we call this as a rain at the end the crowd droplet falls down but very very slowly the small droplets have harder time to fall as they fall their motion generates a friction with the air around them they have the harder time to push through this air think of them as like tiny parachutes just like parachutes they fall slowly but they still fall meaning there are there is something else that should be considered that something else is wind if the wind blows parallel to the ground it reduces the speed of the droplet if the wind blows perpendicularly to the ground it can even stop the droplet from falling by now you must have understood why the clouds float but why don't they fall even if they are filled with the tons of water well to sum up we can say that this is because of water droplets are so small that even the sm even smaller than the hair the droplets are spread over the vast area the hot air from the ground keep it afloat however the clouds don't float forever but one good thing is that the whole cloud don't fall at once the biggest drop falls first and then the smaller and that is pretty nice for me as i can't withstand the tons of water falling on me at once by now you must have got the idea or the answer why don't the clouds fall out of the sky that's all for this video see you in the next goodbye till then